Thursday, September 12th, 2024, AGNDD, until I report topic. Samaritans, please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated Wikipedia-sourced video article. Discover the rich history and identity of the Samaritan diaspora in Delos. Ancient inscriptions and historical accounts reveal their self-perception and origins. Inscriptions from the Samaritan diaspora in Delos, dating from 150 to 50 BCE, show that Samaritans referred to themselves as Bene Israel, which means children of Israel. In Samaritan Hebrew, they use terms like Israel, Benai Israel, and Shamarim, which translates to guardians or keepers. In modern Hebrew, they are called Shomronim, meaning inhabitants of Samaria. Early Christian church fathers observed that their name emphasizes their role as guardians of the law rather than just a regional identity. The historian Josephus referred to the Samaritans using various terms, including Kuthayoi and Samarais. The origins of the Samaritans are disputed between their tradition and Jewish tradition. Samaritans claim descent from Ephraim and Manasseh, with a split occurring during the time of the priest Eli. Jewish tradition dates their presence to the Babylonian captivity, calling them Kuthites. The timing of the schism varies, but a decisive rupture likely occurred during the Hasmonean period. The Samaritan traditions, detailed in the Kitab al-Tariq by Abul Fath from 1355, describe a civil war among Israelites led by Eli. Eli sought to usurp the high priesthood. His revolt led to the establishment of an alternative temple in Shiloh, splitting Israel into factions. According to these traditions, Mount Gerizim was the original holy place, as ordered by Moses to Joshua. The Genesis narratives about Jacob's sons reflect north-south tensions, later seen in the split of the united monarchy into Israel and Judah. Post-exilic texts like Kings and Chronicles differ in their portrayal of Israel and Judah. The Samaritans emerged post-Assyrian conquest in 721 BCE with differing accounts of their origins. Some argue that Assyrian resettlement was unsuccessful, leaving a notable Israelite population in Samaria. Josephus, a crucial historical source, is seen as biased against the Samaritans. He portrays them ambiguously, labeling them both as a distinct opportunistic ethnic group and at times as a Jewish sect. The Dead Sea Scrolls Proto-Ester Fragment 4Q550C mentions a Cuthean man's return, though the reference is unclear. Fragment 4Q372 expresses hopes for the northern tribe's return to Joseph's land, calling the current northern dwellers fools and enemies, but not foreigners. It also notes that Samaritans are mocking Jerusalem and building a provocative temple. Contemporary scholarship indicates that Assyrian deportations before and after the conquest of Israel, from 722 to 720 BCE, had varied impacts. Significant depopulation occurred in Galilee and Transjordan, while Samaria saw mixed effects with many Israelites remaining. Scholars suggest the Samaritans descended from these Israelites despite intermarriage with foreign settlers. The surviving community continued practicing Yahwism, contrary to claims of religious distortion. Cyrus the Great allowed exiles to return and rebuild the temple, with Isaiah referring to him as the Lord's Messiah. The books of Ezra and Nehemiah describe political struggles, but also depict amicable relations between Jews and Samaritans, including intermarriage. Some theologians suggest that members of other tribes also returned to Judah. Evidence indicates that Jews and proto-Samaritans shared cultural elements during the Achaemenid period, with the schism between them developing gradually over centuries. The Macedonian Empire's conquest of the Levant in the 330s BCE brought Samaria and Judea under Greek rule. Samaria faced devastation, but its southern lands thrived. A rebellion in 331 BCE led to brutal reprisals. After Alexander, the region shifted between Ptolemaic and Seleucid control. The temple on Mount Gerizim expanded, solidifying Samaritan worship by the 2nd century BCE. Samaritans were wealthier than Judeans until 164 BCE. Antiochus IV Epiphanes ruled the Seleucid Empire from 175 to 163 before the Common Era, aiming to Hellenize his kingdom and enforce religious uniformity. He declared himself Zeus incarnate, mandating worship under penalty of death. His policies led to a revolt in Judea. The Samaritans, distinguishing themselves from the Judeans, requested their temple be named after Zeus. 
During the Hellenistic period, Samaria was divided between Hellenizing factions and pious groups led by the high priest. It was nominally under the Seleucid Empire until 110 BCE, when John Hyrcanus destroyed the Samaritan Temple, worsening Jewish-Samaritan relations. This event led to long-lasting resentment and alienation between Samaritans and Judeans. Under the Roman Empire, Samaria transitioned from the Herodian Tetrarchy to the province of Judea. Samaritans are noted in Christian Gospels, notably in the parable of the Good Samaritan. During the First Jewish-Roman War, a significant Samaritan uprising was crushed by Vespasian. The Bar Kokhba revolt's Samaritan involvement remains uncertain. Flavia Neapolis was established, becoming a major urban center. Eastern Roman Emperor Zeno persecuted Samaritans, demanding their conversion to Christianity. When they refused, he killed many and converted their synagogue into a church. The Samaritans revolted in 484, led by Justa, but were defeated. Later, under Julianus ben Sabar, they attempted to establish an independent state in 529, but were crushed by Emperor Justinian I. During the Muslim conquest of the Levant, Samaritans faced hardships such as droughts, earthquakes, persecution, and high taxes. Under Abbasid and Tulunid rule, many converted to Islam due to economic difficulties and forced conversions. Despite being considered people of the book and initially protected, increased persecution and anarchy led to widespread poverty and further conversions. During the Crusades, the Franks took over Nablus, leading to massacres in Samaritan communities. They destroyed Samaritan buildings, including a ritual bath and synagogue on Mount Gerizim. Christians intervened for a peaceful transition. Later, the Muslim commander Baswaj raided Nablus in 1137, abducting 500 Samaritans to Damascus. A Samaritan high priest in the 20th century claimed that 200 Samaritans were forced to convert to Islam by Saladin in Imitain. However, no written records corroborate this event. The Ottoman censuses from 1525 to 1597 show a declining Samaritan population in Gaza and Nablus. Ottoman persecution and forced conversions decimated Samaritan communities in Egypt and Damascus. By the 17th century, only small communities remained in Nablus, Gaza, and Jaffa. Despite brief improvements in the 18th century, natural disasters and further persecution reduced their numbers. By the 19th century, Samaritans faced forced conversions and economic hardships. During the British Mandate of Palestine, the situation of the Samaritan community improved. They gained employment in the public sector and received better medical care. The population of the Samaritans grew, with censuses recording 163 Samaritans in 1922 and 182 in 1931. They primarily lived in Nablus, Tolkarm, Jaffa, and Assault, Despite attacks during the 1929 riots, British police intervened and prevented any fatalities. After the British mandate ended, some Samaritans moved from Jaffa to Nablus. By the late 1950s, around 100 relocated to Israel. In 1967, Israel took control of the West Bank, and Samaritans moved to Mount Gerizim due to violence from the First Intifada. They now live in Kiryat Luza with dual Israeli-Palestinian citizenship, integrating into Israeli society and maintaining good relations with Palestinians. In the 1960s, demographic studies of the Samaritan community revealed detailed pedigrees of the last 13 generations. These studies identified four lineages, the priestly Cohen lineage from the tribe of Levi, the Sedeca lineage from the tribe of Manasseh, and the Joshua Marav and Danafi lineages, both from the tribe of Ephraim. Genetic studies on the Samaritan population revealed that 83% of Samaritan males belong to haplogroup J, with the Joshua Marhiv family in JM 267, and the Danafi and Sedaka families in JM 172. The Cohen family belongs to haplogroup E. A 2004 study suggested a common ancestry between Samaritans and Jewish patrilineages, tracing back to the Israelite high priesthood. The Samaritan community, once one million strong in biblical times, dwindled significantly due to Muslim rule and lack of foreign support. Numbers have gradually increased from 100 in 1786 to 820 in 2019. Today they live in Kiryat Luza, Holon, and a few other Israeli cities. They maintain a neutral stance in the Arab-Israeli conflict and hold Israeli citizenship. The Samaritan community is facing continuity issues due to its small population and genetic disorders resulting from intermarriage. 
To address this, they permit men to marry non-Samaritan women who adopt their religious practices. Marriages are approved by a geneticist to prevent disorders. Additionally, they are challenged by youth leaving the community. The current high priest is Abed El Ben Asher Ben Matzliak. Many Palestinians in Nablus are believed to descend from Samaritans who converted to Islam due to persecution and economic hardships. Family names like Al Ahmad and Al Samri reflect this ancestry. Historians Fayyad Al Tif and Israeli Yitzhak Ben Zvi noted significant Samaritan conversions, especially during the Abbasid and Ottoman periods, leading to a drastic population decline. Some families still acknowledge their Samaritan roots. Samaritanism centers on the Samaritan Pentateuch, believed to be the original Torah given to Moses. It differs from the Jewish Torah, with Samaritans claiming key Jewish texts were altered by Ezra. Samaritans venerate Mount Gerizim as their holiest site. Unlike Jews who revere Jerusalem's Temple Mount, Samaritan traditions include the Memar Marka, the Defter, and various law codes and commentaries. Samaritans believe that Mount Gerizim is where Abraham was to sacrifice Isaac while Judaism identifies this location as Jerusalem. This difference stems from their respective texts. In the second century BCE, the Jewish scholar Andronicus ben Meshulam debated this point. In the New Testament, Jesus affirms the Judaic belief, but also hints at a future where worship is not tied to a specific location. Samaritans believe in one God, YHWH, and follow the Torah given to Moses. They consider Mount Gerizim the true sanctuary and await the Taheb for resurrection. Their priests interpret the law, rejecting post-Torah texts and the Talmud. They maintain unique traditions, including a distinct version of the Ten Commandments and script, and celebrate Passover and New Year differently from Rabbinic Judaism. Samaritans call themselves Benai Israel, meaning children of Israel, but not Yehudim, meaning Judeans. The Talmud suggests treating them as Jews when their practices align with Rabbinic Judaism and as non-Jews otherwise. Since the 19th century, some claim that Rabbinic Judaism views Samaritans as a Jewish sect using the term Samaritan Jews. Samaritan law differs from Jewish halakha and includes various religious texts. Key texts include the Samaritan Pentateuch, which has significant differences from the Jewish Pentateuch. It also includes historical chronicles like the Talida and the Chronicle of Joshua. Hagiographical texts include the Hillock and Kitab at Taba. Additionally, Haggadic Midrash and the Defter prayer book are also significant. Samaria and Samaritans are mentioned in the New Testament books of Matthew, Luke, John, and Acts, but not in Mark. Key references include the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus' interactions with Samaritans, and the spread of Christianity to Samaria. Jesus instructs his disciples, heals a Samaritan leper, and engages with a Samaritan woman, leading many to follow him. Sambalat I, Samaritan leader. Simon Magus, early Christian heretic. Eudokia of Heliopolis, Christian martyr. Baba Rabba, Samaritan reformer. Justa, a Samaritan woman mentioned in the Bible. Marinus of Neapolis, Christian martyr. Sophie Tzedaka is a modern Samaritan Israeli actress and singer. Understanding the Samaritans' complex identity and history enriches our grasp of ancient cultural and religious dynamics. Their legacy continues to intrigue scholars and historians alike. Thank you for watching this AGNDD IntelliReport, dear viewers. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.